Hi, I'm Dorian Scrocken from C2Case.com, and today we're going to learn how to create procedural mountains in Blender. So we start by adding a plane and scaling it up by 8. And then we go to the render panel and enable experimental under the feature set. And then I add a subdivision surface modifier onto the object, set it to adaptive and simple. What this does, it subdivides the plane uh, 8 times per pixel in the preview and 1 time per pixel in the final render. Uh, 1 time per pixel is too much for my computer, so I change the values down on the geometry to around 2 or so. And then I add a new material and under the settings. I set the displacement type to true. So what this does, if I go to the node editor and if I plug something into the displacement factor, uh, it displaces the geometry of the object. So I add in a gradient texture and connect it to the displacement socket. And now if I preview this, uh, it looks like nothing. So I add in a converter, math, and set it to multiply. And I multiply it by 12. Uh, you see that doesn't look like a mountain at all. So I can preview the gradient texture if I have the node wrangle add-on enabled, which you can find in the user preferences. I see um, I have a gradient from black to white. A white parts represent high areas and black part represents low areas. So I switch the type to quadratic sphere and get a nice fall off. But um, this texture should be in the middle of our object. So I, by pressing Ctrl T, I add the texture coordinates node and mapping node. And if I use the object output, and the texture is in the middle. So I think the mountain is a bit too high, so I set it down to around 8 or so. That looks good, but it's really geometrical and it doesn't look like nature at all. So I add in another texture, a noise texture, and then I add in a color mix RGB and drop it between the texture coordinate node and the mapping node. So if I plug the noise texture, uh, a second color in the mix RGB node and set it to add, I get some nice variation and if I update, update this again, you see my mountain looks much more realistic. So I set this to 1. And you see the mountain um, is now at the edge of our object. That's not good. So we have to bring it back in the, into the middle. So I duplicate this, set it to subtract to a white color, which means value 1, and set the factor to 0.5. So now the texture will always stay in the middle. So now I have a good looking mountain, but it needs way more detail and I increase this by increasing the detail in the noise texture and updating the port. And now I can also play with the scale of the noise texture and search for different values until I find a mountain that looks like a real mountain. But now if I don't like my mountain, I can change the texture by pressing Ctrl T again uh, and the noise texture selected. And here I can change the texture coordinates values. And for example, if I increase the X, the texture gets different and I have different mountain I've selected. But I think the standard texture coordinates looked good. So I leave it as it is. Now I add an input 
geometry and choose normal for a better and more detailed preview. I think this could look way better, so I add another mix RGB node and a second noise texture. I plug it into the second color and set it to add. Now if I preview this, uh, you can't see anything, so I add in another multiply node yeah, after it to see what's going on. And now if I increase the scale of this noise texture and the detail, I get really small uh, variation in the texture. And if I add this to the other um, to the other texture, I get nice details. In my opinion, this effect is a bit too strong, so I decrease the fracture a bit and update it again by pressing tab twice. So now I think this looks good, so I add in a bump node, which you can find on the converter, a uh, vector, and then bump. And connect, add our texture to the height information, and plug the normal into the diffuse shader. Now if we preview this, um, we can't see anything, because we don't have that much light in the scene, so I add a sun lamp and rotate it so I get nice shadows on the object. By pressing Ctrl B I can select a region of the viewport to render so uh, it renders a lot faster. Now I reselect our uh, mountain object and now if I play with the strengths, I increase it to 3 for example, you see we get a much more detailed looking result. And since we have the geometry of our mountain, I think it's time to add some color. And so we go to texture, add to color, mix RGB. And in the first color slot, uh, we choose a nice rock texture, uh, which you can find on cgbookcase.com. Uh, the texture is linked in the description, of course. Uh, so I choose this nice rock one color and I set the um, mapping to box and I increase the blend. Now if I shift click this uh, you see nothing happens because we don't have any UVs so I choose the object output as texture for now. I think the texture is way too big so I increase the scale and it gets, it gets smaller. This looks good, I think, and I have to connect it to the color one. In color two, I choose a nice snowy white, and this will be our mix between the snowy areas and the uh, rocky areas. So I can use this geometry node, and I add, add in a separate XYZ. Now if I connect the normal to the vector, I can separate the different values. Um, I need the C values because uh, here I have a nice mask between faces pointing upwards, the white areas, which should be covered by snow, and faces pointing uh, to the side, uh, which should be black and not covered by snow. So if I use the C value as a factor in the mix node, uh, you see we get a nice um, blend between both of the uh, colors. I add in also a color ramp to increase the contrast of this mask. So now you plug in the mix RGB node into the color of the diffuse shader and preview it. I think this doesn't look too bad, but I have to increase the uh, strength of the sun a bit. To 
to get even more detail in the um, snow texture in the snow mask uh, I add in another uh, noise texture and then I also add in a RGB curves texture a node and I set it to a, a nice curve which makes the whole texture brighter Now if you shift preview this, uh, you can see it getting brighter and more light. So now I preview the noise texture, scale it way up to get some nice small bits of variation. And I duplicate this color ramp and add it after the noise texture. So I get a black and white mask again. And if I now uh, use the color as factor of this RGB curves node, and get some nice variation in the um, in the brightness of our mask. So now you see we get a more detailed checked look of our mount. So I think we could also add in some blue skylight, and we can do this by uh, pressing it on this little button uh, beneath the color and choose sky texture. And uh, then I add in a camera, uh, and I can I can enter the camera view by pressing uh, C on the num numpad, and I fly around in the scene by pressing Shift F and V A S D. So I, I also think I could decrease the focal length of the camera a bit and fly back. And now I just search for a, a good point of the mountain uh, which I want to show in the camera. If you don't like the mountain anymore, you can uh, easily change it by um, changing the values in the mapping mode. So I think I found a mountain that looks uh, really cool and um, so now I changed the uh, uh, rotation of my sun lamp a bit um, until I get a lighting that I really like. So I think this looks good and now it's time to render and um, I increase the, increase, uh, the subdu uh, decrease the subdivision rate and render a bit uh, to get more detail and I also on the film I enable transparent background which gives me a nice transparent background and now I hit F12 and wait until it's rendered So the render is finished, so I switch to the um, compositing tab and I check use notes and backdrop. Uh, by pressing shift space uh, we can enter full screen mode and by pressing ctrl and shift on the image node uh, we can preview it. So I want to add a background photo, so I go to color and choose all for over. And then I add in an input image. Uh, I found a great sky image on Pixabay, but you can use uh, whatever site you want or image you want. And 
and now we see uh, the images way too big so I add in a scale node and set it to render size and now I choose crop so it doesn't get stretched and the also thing um, we need to um, flip the X of the image because uh, the lighting on the mountain comes from the right and on the image from the left and that doesn't make sense. And now we see this ugly tree in the background so I add in another scale node and set it to um, relative and scale the image up a bit. So this looks way better now and I also add in a um, color balance node to um, kind of mimic um, the warm sunlight in the brighter spots. Uh, and don't forget to set it to both the power and slope because uh, this should perform um, much better. I also add in a um, color curves node to brighten the whole image of it. So I also want to add in a vignette and I can do this by uh, adding an ellipse mask, a blur node and choose fast Gaussian and connect the ellipse mask to the image of the blur and increase the x and y bones. Now if I preview this, the ellipse is way too small and I can change this by increasing the width and the height. So. so I think this looks good, so I add in another alpha over, connect the image to the factory. And now you see um, we need to flip the factory because we want the edges to be a certain color. So I go to color invert and I also darken the, the color here. So now the effort is way too uh, much visible. So I add in a a color ramp and I darken uh, the white areas a bit. I think this looks good for now. Uh, of course you can do some further color adjustments or geometry adjustment uh, but I leave it as it is. So if you create something awesome with this te technique uh, feel free to share it on Twitter using the CGB gallery uh, hashtag to get featured on the community gallery on ctbookcase.com and if you want a quick uh, resume of this tutorial you can find it in the first link in the description below and also all textures I use you can download there. Bye.